Hey, my name is Kaya Tina and today I'm going to do the mid-year book freakout tag. I'll leave a link to the original creators down below as far as I can find them. And I first saw this tag I think on Tia and the Books' channel and that gave me the idea to it myself. Since I've seen it, lots of other people have done it. Um, so I have seen it on other people's channels as well. But I think it was her tag that gave me the idea to do this. So. Question one is the best book you've read so far in 2019? And I have three answers for this. The first one I've got here is My Je ziet er helemaal niet artistisch uit by Bianca Toops. This is an autism memoir. And while well, I have read a couple of those this year, this one definitely stands out the most to me. And I just, I loved every part of it. Then I have Book Love by Debbie Tang. This came recommended by Charlie from Charlie Brook. And yeah, I just, I love it. Lots of little comics about books and reading and yeah. And lastly, I have I Wish You All The Best by Mason Diva. This book is about a non-binary teen and I just, I really love this. The next question is the best sequel you've read so far this year. And I haven't actually read a whole lot of sequels. I am reading some uh, like manga and comic series and graphic novel series but there's not like one among those that stands out so instead I have chosen The Question of the Absentee Father by AJ Copperman this is book four in the Asperger's Mystery series and I read this book earlier in the year and I really liked it. Question three is a new release you haven't read yet but want to? Um, this was released a few months ago it's called The Boy Who Steals Houses by C.G. Drews. I follow her book, blog Paper Fury and like me, she has autism. I loved her debut novel, A Thousand Perfect Notes. This is her second book uh, and it features two boys with autism. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. But I haven't read it yet because I am just highly anticipating it and sometimes I just want to wait until I'm in just the right mood. I'm now thinking maybe I'll take it on holiday with me later in the year. Question four, the most anticipated release for the second half of the year? And I have two for this. Uh, the first one is The Autism Memoir by Elisa Cordano. Uh, this is Autism Memoir by a Belgian person and she has autism and ADHD. And I am really looking forward to reading this. However, it has been delayed. Originally it said March and then it said September. I just saw that they changed the title. So so hopefully it will still be released um, later this year. I haven't been able to find a whole lot of information about it. But the, then the second one I have is Heartstopper Volume 2 by Alice Oseman. I love Heartstopper Volume 1. I know you can um, read it online or on the page. But I prefer to read it in a paper book. So I'm really looking forward to reading volume two and continuing the story. The next question is the biggest disappointment. And I didn't really have a whole lot of like uh, books I was highly anticipating that were disappointing. So instead I've just picked some books that I just really didn't like. I did read a number of sequels, a couple of sequels this year that were disappointing, but like I still enjoyed them. So I don't feel right calling them really a huge disappointment. So a book that I didn't really like was Handbook for Asperger Vrouw by Leanne Holiday Willy or in English Safety Skills for Asperger Women. But yeah that they haven't been I have read books that I didn't really like as much but to call any of them a huge disappointment is maybe also something as so. Question six the biggest surprise and for that I've picked The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Now, this book has been hyped up so much, so I did think that I was at least going to like it. And I didn't like love it as much as maybe so many other people did. It, it didn't help that I got spoiled for one part of the book. But I was surprised that I actually really liked this book, because historical fiction is not my favourite genre. And I really enjoyed this book. Question 7. Favourite new author? A debut author or a new to you author? And I have read quite a few books by authors that are new to me, so I don't think I could pick just one, to be honest. Question 8. Newest fictional crush? I don't have fictional crushes. I'm demisexual, demiromantic, so 
Yeah, I don't really do that. <laughs> Question nine, Neva's favorite character. I don't really have a favorite character either. Um, I guess Evelyn Hugo is one that still comes to mind, but I've read about so many great characters. Um, like Ben from I Wish You All The Best, also a great character. So yeah, I don't think I could pick. Question 10, book that made you cry. Now, not a whole lot of books have made me cry this year, um, but for this I'm picking The Kicking the Bucket List by Kathy Hopkins. This was more emotional and more sad and weepy than I was expecting. So yeah, that's my answer. Question 11, book that made you happy. Uh, there have been quite a few, but for this I'm picking my reread of The Naked Girl by Peter of Hamilton. This is book three in a Nightstorm trilogy. And so now I have finished rereading the whole trilogy. I reread this book this year. I read books one and two earlier. So I just, it made me really happy to reread such a favorite series and yeah. Question 12, most beautiful book you've bought so far this year. And I couldn't just pick one. I love a lot of book covers and yeah, I don't think I could pick just one. Question 13, what books do you need to read before the end of the year? There is no one book that I need to read before the end of the year. I am planning to do a buddy read with somebody. So that book, I suppose. But other than stuff like that, I am the one that decides what I read when. And I don't have to read specific books before the end of the year from other people because I I, I don't receive arcs or anything. So the only books that I need to read before the end of the year is what I would choose. And I'm just gonna go with how my mood is, so. I have books that I would like to read before the end of the year, but I also know that I am such a mood reader that that doesn't really work out for me anyway. I have tried before to, at the beginning of the year, say, well, these books I'd like to read this year, and it just didn't happen. And yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna go with what I feel like. I am in the middle of, like I said, some series, graphic novels and such, such. So I am planning to read more of those, but we'll see. Well, that was all the questions for this tag. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.